Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm the Earth Science Educator here at the St. Louis Science Center and happy National Velociraptor Day. Dinosaurs have been an important part of pop culture for a long time. In fact, the first dinosaur was scientifically explained in the mid 1800s, but humans have been finding dinosaur bones long before that. We just didn't know what they were. Um, that's where we get dragons and hippogriffs and unicorns from. Now behind me, these sculptures were built in the 1964. Now you'll notice that they don't look like how we see dinosaurs today today. That's because we didn't know a lot about dinosaurs. It wasn't until 1993 when Sue, the most complete T-Rex skeleton found to date, was found that we realized T-Rex actually walked with his tail straight out beneath him. And his hands, which if you look closely, are palm down. They actually would have been palm inward like this, which would have allowed for grasping. However, still today we have no idea what he would have used his arms for. They're what we call vestigial, so they actually don't serve a purpose that we know of. Now if we look at the Triceratops, uh, their frill would have been all one piece. So you'll see how, how this one kind of comes into two pieces. So we find lots of Triceratops frills and you can even come to the Science Center and see some in our prep lab. I hear something very strange moving behind me. I wonder what that could be. Oh man, I'm getting kind of nervous. Another thing you'll notice about our Triceratops if you see is Horns, the nose horn is kind of small. It would have been a lot bigger. Think of like a rhino horn. Oh my goodness! It's a velociraptor! Ah, well not really, because they're all extinct. Um, but this looks very similar to what we've seen in movies like Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. However, the real uh, velociraptor was only about the size of a turkey or a peacock. Um, and they would have been completely feathered. So imagine like a bird, like a fluffy bird. Um, so, and they would have traveled in groups. And a lot of these things we learned after the movie, the original Jurassic Park movie. In fact, Steven Spielberg has been known to say that when the Utah Raptor, which was about the size of this Raptor here, that he was like, see, I knew they came in this size. But again, all Raptors were completely covered in feathers similar to birds, and these feathers would have helped keep them warm and helped regulate their body temperature. So it's very important they had these feathers, similar to like how mammals have fur today. Well, I hope you guys have a great National Velociraptor Day, and thanks for hanging out with me.